still has a short residuum. What does it feel like wearing that? It's uh, know, kind of liberating. <laughs> I mean, I've been without an arm for 26 years. Weight is another big challenge in making a prosthetic practical. You have to make an arm that, you know, is atomically correct. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you have to make it you know, weigh as little as possible. Engineers modeled the Luke arm on an average female arm. Right. This particular arm actually weighs less than eight pounds. That's including all the electronics and the battery. The Luke arm also had to be agile enough to do exactly what the human arm can do. Uh, so far, uh, the test pilots, within a matter of you know five to ten hours of practice, can can operate you know operate the arm such that they can you know pick up small objects or, or stack cups. Um, they can you know, uh, eat eat grapes. The arm is able to handle these complex tasks because of the complexity of the electronics inside. The technology like lithium batteries got within reach. In the last few years, processing became uh, ubiquitous, and the size and power consumption of processors got within reach of doing this. There's actually like 12 microprocessors in the arm. These sophisticated electronics also allow sensory feedback. We have a, a small sensor in the thumb sends a signal to one of the microprocessors.